In a world where women are often expected to conform to narrow beauty standards, some women are pushing back against the status quo in a big way. They are the female bodybuilders and a force to be reckoned with. With their sculpted muscles and fierce determination, these women break down stereotypes and prove that strength is not gender-based. In this video, we'll show you 15 female bodybuilders that took it too far. Get to the other side! Oh my god. Okay, she's actually really ah! Elbows on. Ah! <laughs> oh snap. Oh my god. Ah, come on! Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Number one, Alicia Young. Really focusing on that pump and contracting the muscle, nice and slow movement. Coming in first on the list is Alicia Young, a powerhouse athlete who has made a name for herself in the world of professional bodybuilding. But did you know that her father also has a history of athletic prowess? Her father was a bodybuilder and her siblings were all involved in sports like ice hockey. Young herself played soccer, basketball, and softball before transitioning to bodybuilding at the age of 15 and she's never looked back since. Winning her pro card in 2014, she's consistently impressed fans with her muscularity and conditioning on stage. In fact, she's even earned the nickname of World's Strongest Mother due to her incredible measurements. But what may be truly impressive about Alicia is her dedication to health and family. As a single mother, she knew that her daughter Olivia depended on her, so she prioritized her health despite her intense training and strict diet. She always makes time for her daughter, and even when she's experiencing health issues like in 2021, she decided to skip the competitive season to prioritize her well-being. But don't count her out just yet, Alicia is back in the gym and has big plans for the future. She's focused on keeping her muscle mass while also improving her conditioning. With 18-inch biceps and massive 28-inch quads, this bodybuilding superstar is a force to be reckoned with. Number 2. Natalia Kuznetsova Natalia is not just your average bodybuilder. Standing at 5 foot 7 inches tall, weighing in at over 220 pounds in the offseason, she's been training for a staggering 15 years, and her hard work and dedication has earned her an IFBB Pro League card and multiple world records for deadlifting, bench pressing, and arm lifting. Not only is Natalia an impressive athlete, but she's also breaking stereotypes about female bodybuilders. She proves that nothing is too difficult to achieve with extreme hard work and patience. Most people assume that female bodybuilders have to give up their femininity, but Natalia's Instagram profile shows that she can also rock a fierce look just as well as anyone. While most people would avoid such a strict lifestyle, Natalia's commitment to her regimen is awe-inspiring. She trains several hours a day and sticks to a strict diet that's heavy on protein, and that all gives her a truly incredible physique. In addition to her impressive achievements, she's also made headlines for her views on love and relationships. Despite having bigger biceps than her own husband, she believes in mutual love and supports matters in a happy relationship. Number 3. Natalia Saltero after years of dedication and hard work, Natalia Saltero became a professional bodybuilder in 2016. In 2020, she achieved an incredible feat, becoming the first Mexican athlete to climb the podium at the Mr. Olympia competition. She secured the second position in the fitness figure category, marking the best result of her career in the sport. Natalia knows that it takes a lot to be a female bodybuilder and be successful at it. She has to deal with judges rating her physique, the high economic costs in order to prepare, and the strict nutritional and structural regimes that she has to follow in order to be a competitive bodybuilder. As a professional, Natalia knows that it's not only about lifting weights or being physically strong. A combination of mental strength, dedication, and hard work sets her apart from others in the sport. Notwithstanding the hurdles that are presented by the COVID-19 pandemic, she continued to train and prepare for her fourth participation in one of the most important events in the world of physical constructivism and fitness. It's worth noting that Natalia's journey with Mr. Olympia was challenging. In her first participation in 2017, she only came in in the 16th position, but she never let that discourage her from pursuing her dreams. 
With determination and perseverance, she continued to improve her physique and techniques, ultimately achieving great success in 2020. Number 4. Julia Vins Born and raised in Russia, Julia began her career to becoming a bodybuilder at the age of 15. She hit the gymnasium to feel more confident within her own skin, but little did she know that her coach would soon discover an immense power and see her potential in weightlifting. Julia's dedication and hard work paid off as she became a two-time world champion at the World Powerlifting Congress, and it's no wonder why she's earned the nickname of Muscle Barbie. Her impressive physique, coupled with her attractive appearance, is a total knockout. However, her journey to becoming a bodybuilder was challenging. In fact, she had to travel an hour by bus just to get to the gym and was often the only girl there. That didn't stop her, though, because she was determined to work on her body and achieve her goals. Her impressive records speak for themselves. She's lifted 275 kilograms in squats, 175 kilograms in the bench press, and 205 kilograms in the deadlift. To maintain such an incredible physique, she also follows a strict diet, which includes eggs, vegetables, beans, fish, oats, and rice. Number 5. Wendy Lindquist I don't have near enough time to devote to him, or my husband for that matter. Wendy Lindquist was born in May of 1979 in British Columbia and is a Canadian ex-gymnast and dancer who turned her passion for fitness into a successful career. Wendy began her fitness journey in 1998 when she joined her local gym in order to fulfill a college requirement. Initially, she was a cardio junkie who believed that an hour of cardio per day would make her skinny. However, her trainer showed her the light in 2001, and that's when she entered into the INBF Northwest Natural Bodybuilding Championships after only six months of training, and she won the entire show. Ever since then, Wendy has been on a roll. She currently lives in British Columbia and stands at 5'3", with a body weight of 128 pounds. She's competed in several regional shows and has made multiple national-level appearances. In 2003, she became fourth in the light heavyweight and medium short figure class. What's impressive about Wendy is that she doesn't just limit herself to bodybuilding only. She's also a strong woman competitor and also works as a model. Her dedication to fitness and strength is admirable to say the least. In an interview, Wendy would reveal that she had no idea what she was doing when she first began bodybuilding, and she still hasn't mastered the last spread. But her passion for fitness and her willingness to learn has led her to where she is today. Number 6. Christian Nunn Christian Nunn hails from Kansas City in the United States and began bodybuilding at the young age of 17 years old. But before she had found her love for bodybuilding, she was a footballer, which shows that she's always been passionate about sports and fitness. Now at the age of 36, she's been in the bodybuilding industry for over 19 years, competing in numerous professional bodybuilding competitions. She even owns her own fitness company called Supplement Syndicate. Kristen's impressive physique and dedication to bodybuilding have earned her a legion of fans, but some have been confused about her gender. Despite her masculine appearance, though, Kristen has confirmed that she is indeed a biological woman and a fierce one at that. Not only is Kristen an accomplished bodybuilder, but she's also a model and fitness trainer. Her beauty, fashion sense, and incredible muscle definition have made her a role model for many young women who aspire to become professional bodybuilders and to train and care about their own fitness. Number 7. Christina Mendoza IFBB Pro League women's bodybuilder Christina Mendoza has built a physique that's worthy of standing on any stage. But what fans know her best for are impressive quads. She's even appeared on several popular television programs to talk about how she's built her legs. Mendoza understands that the most progress is actually made in the off-season, so she ensures that she consumes enough calories to fuel her training. Her training gets more and more intense as the calories increase, and previously she had only trained her legs twice weekly, but now trains them once. She tries to bring her upper body up to create more symmetry and balance on stage. Mendoza trains her hamstrings and quads on the same day, along with a mixture of other things, and she then begins quad work with leg extensions, burning them out before entering compound movements like the leg press or the squat machine. Mendoza likes to begin with lighter weights for the first few sets before moving on to working sets, 
and may follow that up with a back offset with lighter weights and more reps. Mendoza's journey to become a bodybuilder began at childhood when her parents got her into gymnastics at the age of five. Later on, she would get into competitive dance and cheerleading. However, the size of her legs was always a problem. After getting out of high school, she then found herself gaining weight and decided to join a gym in order to stay in shape. People started to comment on her physique there, and she was eventually inspired to compete in bodybuilding. While Mendoza's legs were often criticized for being too big, she eventually changed categories and became a bodybuilder. This would allow her to focus on maximizing her leg development rather than to try to make them smaller. Her hard work paid off, and she placed third at the 2017 NPC in bodybuilding and placed first overall in the Miss International Classic at the Arnold in 2019, which would earn her her pro card. At 5'5 and a contest weight of about 160 pounds, Mendoza is determined to become a world champion. However, she knows that muscle maturity is a factor and that male and female champions can keep improving as they mature throughout their 40s. With plenty of time ahead of her, Mendoza is focused on being patient and maintaining the discipline to achieve her goals. Number 8. Europa Bomic This 23-year-old from Bengal is a female bodybuilder and one of the youngest in India. She has dreams of becoming a fitness icon and has already won a silver in the lightweight category at the Asian Bodybuilding and Physique Sports Championships in 2017 in South Korea. But how did Europa get there? It all began with bullying in school. Being short and unattractive, Europa's friends would tease her, putting much emotional pressures on her. And that's when her mother would suggest joining a gym. Initially, she struggled with cardio machines and suffered from anorexia. It was only when a gym trainer would introduce her to strength machines that she found her focus. Europa's body is her temple, which she worships with much faith and fervor. As a bodybuilder, she knows that the secret to showcasing muscles has to be thin skin. To achieve this, she goes through the off-season and on-season eating carbs and reducing them slowly during the latter. But when it comes to protein, she's always consistent. She loves meat and her favorite is pork, and she's even tried crocodile, shark, and clams. But Europa's most significant achievement is not her silver medal. It's inspiring other women to pursue fitness. These days, girls come to her for advice on how they should get into a fitness regiment, and she couldn't be more proud. With a physique that turns heads everywhere that she goes, Europa is definitely one to watch out for. Number 9. Jessica Fithin Believe it or not, Jessica Fithin's journey began with a Zumba class, but she was bored and unhappy with the results. Luckily, she found Olympic weight training in 2014, and her coach would then suggest strong woman training, and she finally hit her stride. Fithin grew up with three brothers and constantly fought to keep up, learning to roll in a house full of boys. She was not an athlete, but she was strong, and in 2019, she won the Strongman Corporation's Strongest Women in the World contest, which solidified her position as one of the top female bodybuilders. But her fame would actually skyrocket on Instagram in January of 2021, when she became the first woman to block press 100 kilograms. However, her achievements are not limited to her solo feats of strength. She also runs a blog called You Look Like a Man. So the gym owner said, you should just try this out. Where she exposes the harassment that women in strength sports face. The blog has grown to have over 75,000 followers on Instagram and has been featured in news outlets like Unilad and MMA Fighting. Even more impressive may be that Fithin has turned her blog into a platform where women can speak up and be heard. Her husband Doug follows her all over the world and watches her compete, wearing a t-shirt that says, My girl is stronger than you. And her 14-year-old son just loves to brag about his mother's feats and her career not only on the strongman and fitness stage, but also in social media management. Number 10. Donna Moore Donna Moore's story perfectly shows how determination, hard work, and perseverance can help you to achieve your goals. After struggling with her weight for many years, she then took control of her life and embarked on a journey to transform her body. With a fierce determination, Donna began incorporating weightlifting and strength training into her fitness routine. She discovered that she had a natural talent for lifting weights. I spent a lot of time concentrating on what I'm going to be doing and the task in hand. And soon became obsessed with pushing her limits and setting new personal records. Over time, her hard work and dedication would pay off 
and she began seeing incredible body changes. She shed the extra weight, developed an impressive amount of muscle mass, and became one of the strongest women in the world. Despite facing countless obstacles, she never gave up on her dreams. She continued to train hard and push herself to new heights, striving to improve and become stronger. Today, she's a world-renowned athlete known for her incredible strength, positive attitude, and inspiring story, and she's inspired countless amounts of women around the world to take up weightlifting and strength training. She's shown that anything can be possible with enough determination and hard work. But Donna's story is not only about physical strength, it's also a story about mental fortitude and resilience. Despite many challenges and setbacks, she has never given up on her dreams. She remained focused on her goals even when things seemed impossible and kept pushing herself to new heights. Number 11. Robin Coleman Moving from Donna, have you ever heard of Robin Helga Coleman? She's a figure competitor, professional strongwoman, and former female bodybuilder known for her Viking-inspired persona and impressive accomplishments. Hailing from Texas, she competed in her first bodybuilding competition in 1997, just a year and a half after beginning her training. She then quickly gained recognition, winning the title of Border States Classic Novice 97 and coming in second at the open heavyweight division. That was only the beginning of her journey to greatness. Her drive and determination have taken her many places. In 2001, she competed in the world's strongest woman in Zambia, Africa, where she then placed third. But that's not all there is to this woman. She's also trained in boxing, mixed martial arts, and pro wrestling, making her a true all-around athlete. She's also a talented actress, making her television acting debut in 2001 as Polaris on VIP, and later portraying Tanya on Days of Our Lives in 2008. Her film debut would be in Tyler Perry's Medea Goes to Jail in 2009, where she played the role of Big Sal. However, her first love was comedy. She's a trained comedic actress who has studied method acting at the Baron Brown Institute and improv comedy at the Groundlings School. If that's not enough, she's also a competitive rower, belonging to the Lions Rowing Club and the California Yacht Club. She competes in Club 8S and 4S and Quad, Double, and Single Skulls, and her single shell has been named Equanimity. Number 12. Eleonora Dobranina Growing up in Russia, Eleonora was inspired by her father, a champion wrestler for the Soviet Union who was well-respected and admired by everyone that knew him. After his death at a young age, Eleonora made a promise to herself to be just like him and to make him proud, even if he wasn't there to see it. Things were also quite challenging for her, however. She moved to a new country faced countless obstacles that made it difficult to stay fit and active. And she even doubled her weight at one point, but never gave up. With her father's smile cheering her on, she kept on pushing herself to be the best that she could be. Her dedication and hard work would yield her results in a big way. She became a WBFF pro athlete and represented the IFBB as a pro competitor, proving that with perseverance and determination, anything is possible. Number 13. Iris Kyle this amazing athlete reached the pinnacle of her sport a staggering 10 times, which is no small feat, making her one of the most exceptional athletes in the industry. Iris Floyd Kyle, a professional African Indian American female bodybuilder, currently holds the record for the most overall Miss Olympia and Miss International wins in history. Her achievements include 17 titles and 10 overall Miss Olympia wins, which is more than anyone else. In 2013, she would be ranked the best female bodybuilder in the IFBB Pro Women's Bodybuilding Ranking list. Iris's journey began when she and her family moved to Orange County, California. She saw many fit, healthy people around her and became interested in achieving a highly trained sculpted physique. She then decided to join Bally Total Fitness, where she took up aerobics and later began lifting weights. She became an avid reader of fitness magazines like Flex, Muscle, and Fitness, along with Iron Man. Her physical inspiration was Linda Murray. She began competing in 1994, following advice and coaching from professional bodybuilder Patrick Lynn. After coming in second in the middleweight category at the 1994 NPC Iron Maiden Championships, she then began using performance-enhancing substances. Iris's discipline and dedication to the sport have led her to numerous victories. She's consistently placed in the top six in every IFBB pro bodybuilding competition that she's been in. 
Iris has always been a top performer, except for the 1999 and 2008 Miss Internationals. Her achievements are not without sacrifice. She's become quite isolated from friends and family in pursuing her gains. On Instagram and all my other media sites, and I ask you to ask Miss Olympia. Number 14, Cassia Morales. Originally from Brazil and known worldwide as a bodybuilding diva, Cassia has thick legs and a shredded upper body that thousands worldwide have tried to emulate. Her incredible physique has attracted many online followers that support her every stop of the way, but Cassia is more than just a pretty face and a fit body. She's also an advocate for lifting weights and healthy eating. She wants to put to rest the myth that pumping iron can make women look bulky and manly, and instead shows that anyone can achieve a strong and healthy body with dedication and hard work. But right now, because my upper body grows so fast, Cassia began her fitness career in the fitness division, but then switched to the wellness division when it was introduced and began gaining traction. In the fitness industry, she's usually regarded as the girl with the most sculpted abs. But where does she get her motivation and inspiration from? Well, it's not from any individual in the fitness industry. Instead, she draws her inspiration from her family, specifically her father. Cassia's father has been her biggest inspiration since she was the age of five when her father initiated her into fitness. He's been her biggest and most reliable support system ever since, waking her up every morning at 4.30 a.m. to ensure that she never misses a training session. And Cassia's inspiration doesn't stop there. She also draws strength from her two-time cancer-surviving brother. Number 15. Andrea Shaw Here we have Andrea Shaw, the reigning Miss Olympia champion. Andrea began her journey in muscle building at the age of 17 with the guidance and support of her mother, a nurse and former personal trainer. With a bachelor's degree in exercise and sports science, Andrea entered five shows in 2018, which earned her her pro card at the NPC Nationals. She placed second at the Nationals and first at the Linda Murray Detroit Classic, marking the beginnings of a hugely successful physique and competition career. She loved gymnastics and competitive cheering when she was young, but there were very few organized sports centers or appropriate equipment where she was. Her 8th grade aerobics teacher would get her to create structures in middle school, and after middle school she became interested in studies Maybe financially afford that, then there are other tools that you can use. because she was exhausted from cheerleading and gymnastics. Her mother would then encourage her to begin working out at the Powerhouse Gym in Centerline, Michigan, where she gained a little bit of weight to support her athletic dreams. But at the Toronto Pro in 2019, where she spoke to judge and bodybuilding legend Linda Murray, she would be encouraged to switch from physique to bodybuilding. Taking her advice to heart, Andrea then entered the 2019 Chicago Pro as a bodybuilder and came in second by one point in just her first tournament in that division. She would then go on to win Miss Olympia 2020 and Miss Rising Phoenix champion, making her the biggest female bodybuilder in the world at that time. Fast forward to 2022 at the Mr. Olympia competition held at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, and Andrea Shaw was crowned Miss Olympia for the third time in a row. The 38-year-old bodybuilder has consistently maintained her position at the top of the crowded category since the division returned to the Olympia weekend in 2020. Her story is truly inspiring, from being told she didn't have the guts to continue with training to becoming one of the biggest female bodybuilders in the world. She's a true role model for anyone who wants to pursue their dreams and hard work to achieve them. You definitely don't want to mess with any of these women, and while they may look like something straight out of a comic book, they are actually real. Which of them would you like to have an arm wrestling match with? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below.